Alrighty, wanted to make a uh, quick little video about um, the Father Lassance, uh, the new Roman Missile. So this missile I've had now for um, in the upwards of uh, 10 years. And um, I mean, it's still not in bad shape, but um, you know, I get the binding is starting to, to kind of come apart and starting to get, get a little rough around the edges and everything. And um, I just, I know that it's not gonna last a lot longer. Um, and at the same time, my uh, oldest son has started to develop uh, an affection for the Holy Sacrifice, the Mass, and um, it seems as if it would be a great, great deal more valuable for him to follow along here than with the little kitty books um, or a prayer book uh, to get him used to handling the missile and being comfortable using it for prayer. So uh, what I did was is when the new of the new Roman Missal, my father Lassans came out. Um, I picked it up and then gave this one to my son. I just want to show you a couple of couple of quick differences. Uh, some some you know maybe some irritants and and then but most mostly improvements. So the first of which is that you'll notice that I mean it's it's pretty much the same same size. The the, the newer one is a little bit bigger. Um, Maybe it feels a little, definitely a little bit more robust and a little bit more sturdy, but that also could be that I haven't used it for, for 10 years. But you can see it's just a tad bit taller. Um, I don't know that it's a tad bit thicker. Let's see. Well, it's about the same size and thickness. Um, but, but one thing that uh, irked me a little bit was, so if you ever wonder about like how Father Lassant's envisioned you setting up your uh, ribbons here. Uh, you'll see that you know he has the yellow first, uh, the green, right, and, th and this kind of corresponds to to you know really the the, the parts of the mass, uh, you know, and, and and where you would you would put them. Now I found that um, this didn't necessarily work for me operationally speaking, and and that's fine, but. Uh, um, again, it was, you know, I got used to this order of purple, yellow, or purple, gold, um, green, uh, white, red, and black. Uh, now, this, this is found on page 49 here, the, the distinctions. So you'll see that nothing has changed in the new Roman Missal, except for the fact that you know, it's still on page 49. and still lists it in the same order, but you'll notice that they are in a tad bit different order. So the old one, like I said, it went uh, purple and then uh, gold. Here it goes purple, green, uh, and then after the green on this one, you had white, red, black. So after this, it's green, uh, red, black, gold, white. So for me, I mean, I've gotten so used to using the gold, you know, in, in, in for the ordinary and, and the green for the, you know, Sundays and things of that, na or, um, you know, things of that nature. Uh, so anyhow, just, you know, and you can, you can see that they're, they're definitely in a different order. Um, not a big deal. I mean, you know, we can adapt and overcome. Um, so uh, the other thing that I noticed that is, I would say, a very huge improvement aside to, from the build quality and, and the feel of this Roman Missal is that when, when you go through here, the pages, right, now granted the gold wears off. I mean, you know, I've used this at daily mass, you know, hundreds of times and Sundays and holy days and, you know. So the, the, the gold wears off, and, and I'm sure that this, this gold will eventually wear off as well. Um, but you'll notice that when you get to, you know, the ordinary of the mass, you know, it's, it's the same paper as anywhere else in this book, in this missile, and that's fine. On here, you will notice that, first of all, the paper feels uh, maybe a little bit more robust, a little bit tighter, but, when you get to the the ordinary, it is definitely thicker paper. 
and you can feel it here. Definitely a different weight. So the, the benefit there is that, you know, obviously you spend a lot of time in the ordinary and it shows like there's, there's my, my thumb juice. <laughs> and uh, you can see that this is, you know, there's, there's, there's some action that takes place here, right? I mean, pretty much every mass you're, you're using this, right? I mean, my, some of the pages here are just getting ready to just come off, right? And uh, so having sturdier paper here really makes a big difference. But uh, really, really well done by, by the press here. Um, and again, I feel like the, a little tighter, tighter binding and, uh, you know, a little bit like you can see up here, there's, you know, some stitching that was done versus here where it's just like paper. So definitely some improvements uh, and uh, definitely a good, good feel. Um, so I would encourage anyone who has been on the fence about getting a Father Lassance missile, um, this, this is definitely the one to get. Um, I still think, I mean, this, I don't know, feels closer to leather. This definitely is plastic, but uh, this, this, uh, this feels closer to, to leather. So we'll see. But uh, overall, looks looks very nice, and nothing else has really changed in here. Um, I will say that I did I did find one mistake just recently that you should be aware of, and that was on uh, a recent feast, and it was the was Don't worry, there it is. St. Lawrence Justinian, the mass of statuite. It gives you the reference of page 1302, but it's really 1337. This can be found on 1185. One of the small little mixed ma mishmash references I've found over the years, but uh, if I find any more, I can share them with you. Anyhow, that's the video. Pick it up.